Good morning, it's about 9.30 here in beautiful western Newfoundland. Um, we're getting dumped on right now with some not so ideal snow. So I get the hat on, keep snow out of my glasses. We're gonna go up today and check my rabbit snares. I don't expect much in the snares, it wasn't a great night last night. Uh, I've been getting a few bunnies, uh, not what I should be, but I'm getting a few. Um, you know, still starting off new with this. Uh, also, I have the 22250 and the coyote collar with me here today. We're gonna try to do some predator control because I'm after losing probably half a dozen, probably six rabbits to these coyotes. And there's two of them and I, I know where they stay. I know where they sleep at. So uh, this is war with coyotes. They need to be managed. They're always coming around town here. Um, and where I'm snaring is decently close to town. They're always coming around, so it needs to be managed. And uh, especially for the rabbit and grouse population and moose. Uh, there's a moose calf up there they're chasing around. So it needs to be managed and uh, there's a bounty on them. So. Let's go see what we can do here today. Well, first bunny of the day, guys. Went through three snares. I had nothing. So we just came up here to a, a birch tip set. And hey, we got ourselves a bunny. I think this snare's been here for a while, actually. Yeah. It's a nice rabbit. It's a nice bunny. Yep. So we'll get him untangled and uh, show you and... We'll get down to the rest. So I got that reset there with the, the birch tips and we got our bunny. So we'll get him on the quad and we'll we'll get headed up the, the road here to the rest of the sets. It's always a good day when you get a bunny. It's an absolutely beautiful day here today. Another snare untouched here. This, uh, this lead produces very well for me. I believe it's three or four bunnies I've got out of that snare this year, so. It's always nice to have leads like that. Ones you came with your grandfather or your father and uh, You've always got bunnies in them. You come back to them when you do it on your own, you still get them. It's just a cool feeling. Another one. Perfect. This guy here has evaded me a number of times, and I can see why. He's a smaller rabbit, so it makes sense how we would slip up my snares and get through it and whatever. But, uh, hey, you can't complain. A bunny is a bunny. Yep. Beauty. It's actually not like that small, actually. Smaller than I'd like, but we'll bust this one off here now. Ooh, he almost had it. My goodness. And uh, yeah, we'll replace the snare and keep going on our way. It's two beautiful bunnies. Reset for another bunny. Huh. Another misfortune here. So there's actually two snares here. There was one bust clean off and the other slipped right up. I'm just gonna assume though it was probably from this one struggling. So we're definitely gonna put another snare back there. They found my birch here finally, so they'll be back. And it's gonna reset this and we'll be on our way. Alrighty, we're reset and ready to leave them for another night. So they finally found this birch. That's good. Um, you know, not good. We have one bust off, possibly two, because one was slipped up. But I'm just gonna, you know, go ahead and assume it was from the other one struggling. So I made sure they were tied on very well. And uh Hopefully we got a bunny there. Alrighty, let's get going into the bait station here. I don't see too many tracks. Uh, squirrel and moose. So yeah, I've been getting some moose visitors here, which is fine. They don't disturb much. They're not stepping on the snares. They're just coming in and eating some of the birch, which is fine. There's tons of birch here and I can always bring more. It's nice to have moose around. So uh, squirrel, I don't see no rabbit prints yet. Okay, now there's where I had a rabbit in my last snare, and I just blocked it off. And there's a snare there, there's nothing in it. So we're just gonna shake that off, leave him, nothing in him. And that one is pushed to the side again. Seriously. That's a smart bunny, man, let me tell you, smart bunny. That's six times now, literally six. There it is for you. Six times, this is after getting pushed. Wow, you kind of mangled it. I'm gonna make that more secure. Yeah, and I'm gonna show it there, but I'm gonna make that more secure and now we'll get on our way. I'll get him eventually. He's just gotta make one mistake, that's all. That's crazy. Well, I got this bugger. He slipped this one up three or four times as well. So I finally got him. It's another nice bunny. Beautiful. So I'm gonna get this one out. 
and get it reset. Another beautiful bunny there. Awesome. So this is our first go Colin for this set of coyotes. Now there's two at least that I know of. Um, I actually saw one of them uh, before, so I know that they're here for sure. Uh, we're set up, there's a clearing out here. I'll point a finger to it now. Where they're out by a frozen pond is where they stay at. So we're gonna give her a call and see if we can get them to come in. Gotta be managed. There he is. How far is he? Back into the trees. He's here. He's here. He's here. So we're here. We just had the guy who come out at about. 300 yards. Now I want him in at about 200. That's what this 22 250 is sighted in for. But uh, that got me going. 300 yards though, and look at the weather we're having. It's not great weather. You can't see much. So I might have to pull out of here very soon. So I don't make him smart and get going. And we'll be back for him. Like I said, I know where he sleeps. Whew, morning guys. 9.07 a.m. here in beautiful Western Newfoundland. Um, today, the plan is to go in and uh, probably pull up a lot of my rabbit snares. We got an insane amount of snow overnight, as you can see. Like, it doesn't actually look like a lot, but I mean, we've got over a foot of snow here now and it's getting just a little bit too much for the quad. So I'm thinking we're gonna have to pull up some of my snares, wait a few days till we get some more snow. So it's time for skidoo. It's that awkward time now where it's too much for quad, not quite enough for our skidoo. You've seen in the clips before, there's lots of coyotes around here and they need to be managed. They come into our towns or our town, sorry. They come into our town and we see them way more often than we should especially up here where I'm setting my snares. They're always around taking rabbits and see their tracks all the time. So they're a pest as everybody knows, they do way more damage than you could ever imagine. So to help out our rabbits and grouse and our uh, moose and caribou populations, I'm gonna try to take them out. So unfortunately, last time I was out, I called in a coyote. He came out, sniffed at me and went on. You already saw that clip. Now I'm gonna show you one here now so unfortunately i didn't have the the good camera out for this just my bad one my phone um i was just getting ready to pack up and i look and this guy's sitting out at 600 and he winded me yeah so like i said in that uh voiceover called him in to about 600 after the wind switched and all i had was my phone there to film it because i was packing up and it was real black coyote it's pretty cool but you know um he never come handy to me i didn't expect him to even come out had the wind switched I had a mishap with my scope there. It got knocked off and it's like the reticle fell out of the scope. I've never seen it before. So I had to take the scope off my moose rifle and put on um, the 22 250. So we're gonna go in and sight that in today. So let's go for the rest of the season. So that's what's going on today. Checking the rabbit slips, probably pulling them up and we're gonna get ready for some predator control. Let's go. All right, so we're out here. We're freezing, but we're out here. We're gonna shoot three shots at 25 yards. Uh, I stepped it off there. It's not exact, but it'll do. And once we get it a good grouping at 25, we're gonna move all the way back to 200. Straight down this old trail here. And I'm shooting into a good backstop, just woods. That trail ends right there and nobody else is out here. So you're gonna be shooting there. Like I said, three shots at 25. 
and uh, we'll see what that does. And after that, I'll adjust it. And once I get a good grouping where I know I'm not gonna hit the camera, I'll set the camera up by the, by the target there for some cool shots, so let's do it. Alrighty, you guys know me, so here it is. I'm gonna be honest as always. I didn't get this gun bore sighted, which was a rookie mistake, and I don't know how to bore sight, after I swapped the scopes. This was also a scope for an over-under rifle, which means this scope is meant to go on top of already existing iron sights. This gun doesn't have that. So, basically what my local gunsmith, I guess you could call him, um, told me is that that doesn't work. You, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> so I didn't know that. Um, anyway... Long story short, not being really as prepared as I should have, just ignorance on my part, um, I didn't really have enough ammunition to sight this gun in how I really wanted it and to feel comfortable enough going coyote hunting, especially at ranges exceeding 150 yards. I just wasn't comfortable doing it. So basically, we're going to have to wait and I'll be back and sight this in. I'm going to get a bore sighted and we'll, we're going to do it properly. So... There are definitely going to be some coyote videos very soon. I'm going to get it done, I promise. Here's what she's doing at 50 yards. Actually, it was this way. And we were aiming for the center brown dot. I'll circle it. And then, at about 100, we were aiming for this one. Which, that's all right. But, uh, you know, I want her better. I want her better. So, long story short... We're gonna go check the rest of my snares and see if we can get up through this powder we got. We're gonna go check the rest of them. Um, you know, if I see a coyote, I'll have a shot at it, but I'm not going calling for them. I'm just gonna waste time and money. So we'll pick it up when we uh, get going on the quad to the snares. It is so cold. So uh, just checked my bait, brought it up out of the snow. It was almost fully submerged. You could just see a bit of rabbit blood or flesh, sorry, right there. Um, untouched last night, but it was touched the night before, so they're around. I guess they just didn't want to move. Um, we have one snare slip through so far, not push, slip through. Um, it very well could have been due to the snow, but I doubt it because this one wasn't submerged. But, uh, we're going to get going up the trail where there shouldn't be too much snow because it's enclosed. So I got high ropes for some bunnies up there. So let's go. So we're on the trail where I have my snares. This is the second set of coyote tracks I've seen. And what a big dog that is. And yeah, it somewhat looks like lynx, but it's not. I checked in there. There's a, you can see the claws, so it's a coyote. What a big dog. They're around here. They're around. I might have to set up because this is close quarters here. And like, this is now. I'm spooking him as I go. Like, that's probably only, like, 10 minutes ago. All right. So we're walking in together, as always, on the bait station here. Uh, not touched. Whew. Oh. Nope, not touched. I thought maybe it was dragged down because we had something. Now, something did walk over it, though, just saying. Oh, it is slipped up. No, it wasn't. That's my bad. No, it was not. <laughs> uh, nothing. And how's this one doing? Nothing. Two more to check. Two more to check. Oh, the moose found this. Look, all the tops eating off like this. Moose found it. So I'm all right with that. That one's untouched, still in there. So we got one more snare. Uh, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to pull all these up. It's so important for me to have them out now when I can't come check them. And nothing in that one. The rabbits aren't running right now, so just pull that up. So, uh, yeah. It's no point for me to have them out, like I said, when I can't come check them. Give it a few days till we get a bit more snow and I'll be up on Skidoo. So, that's it for today. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Wasn't an absolute banger. Um, it's that awkward time now. And uh, the scope mishap on the coyote gun didn't exactly help me so we're gonna have some banger content when we uh when we come back on skidoo and when we can coyote hunt see you when we go after the yotes